<laughs> okay. Today's Mystery Arcade episode, huh? Think of words that begin with M that we can say Mystery Arcade with. Mad, mad, majestical Monopodabo Mystery Arcade. I was about to say monotonous, but we can't say that because that's bad. Anyway, what are you let's... talking about? Shall we play the damn game? Yes. Let's put in some coins. Metal slug. Metal slug. So this is how you play the game. Take close attention. Pay close attention. Something like that. You're not on form today, are you? I'm very sorry. <laughs> Jump on board the enforced metal slug. Oh, is yeah. metal slug a tank? Metal slug's a tank. <laughs> it can jump and it can shoot. Bro. Shift lever down and press button B to escape. Ah. Right. So, I just wanted to point out initially, you were saying about the amazing animation in Tekken 2. Yeah. This is... Beautiful. Yeah, it's... Look at the background. It's largely... Um, agreed in gaming that this is one of the best looking games ever made. So yeah. you're the yellow guy and the red guy. Right. You're going to have to work out your controls. That's all I need to know. Are you good? Yeah. Can you jump? Uh, interestingly, the blood seems to be turned off. That's annoying. I can jump. Oh, well, that's fine. It's not the button I would have used, but I can jump. Well, this is yeah, whatever. Take the machine gun, please. Yeah! Yeah. So this is Metal Slug, this is released in 1996, developed by Nazca Corporation and published or distributed or whatever by SNK. Uh, which stands for something and I can't remember what it was. Get them, get the extra ammo for the machine gun quick! Oh no! I got hit by a grenade. That hurt a lot. So, first impressions please. This is cool. This is very cool isn't this it? Is and I don't mean this in the way that it sounds. This is a step backwards, and it's good. A, a step backwards in a good way, okay. That's good. I wish I'd brought my controller. Yes, I wish you had as well. I forgot who I was there. So who am I? Yeah. Right. The characters in this... Um, I can't remember. That they've got all sorts of weird proper nouns and corporations and stuff that they're part of. And basically, they're in the army, and they're... Like the special forces or whatever. Um, I'm Marco and you're Tama because they're names. Right, there's the metal slugger. You're getting in? Yeah. Go for it. So you can control the, the cannon by going up and down. <laughs> uh, I, love, I love this metal slug. It's just so expressive. Shoot the helicopter quick! I don't know how. Point upwards and peep tap in the fire button. That's one of the things about this game, actually, that you need to get used to, is that you can't, um, yeah, you don't you just hold that. Direction. Get out, quick, get out, jump. I don't know how. Yeah, it's fine. This is so confusing, because you put the jump button as a weird button. It's not my fault. I didn't know which button it was. <coughs> We've also got to free the prisoners, which are these guys. And the more prisoners you free, basically, you get more pickups and more points at the end. Oops. If it's any consolation, I'm not using the buttons I normally would. My fire button is on A, so it's weird. It's, just, it's not like it's just having to jump and fire, it's difficult. Yeah. Well, you kind of have to jump first and then worry about firing. Yes, we've both got a gun. You know, I've actually finished this level without dying before, so you, you're ruining my credibility. Now you'll notice, for starters, it's worth pointing out um, that we're getting a lot of slowdown here. That wouldn't have been the case on the actual hardware. No, okay. This is just because we're... This is because we're doing dirty emulators. And we're being naughty. Although I do actually legally have this game, so it's fine. Um, oh no, I got lasered in the face. Ah! What are these things? Um, I was going to say something then, and I'm not sure what it was. I don't know. Well, of course you don't, because I was thinking of it. So that's exciting. It's difficult. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. It's difficult to play now because 
because of the controls of the way it's been set up but that looks extremely fun yeah and when i said it was a step backwards i meant that in a good way because it's let's like switch, let's switch controls it's have an easier term it is like the games of the past that we've been yeah. more used to it's very much Oh my goodness, I see what you mean about the controls. Flipping out. How about the music? How are we finding the music? The music is cool, man. Everything yeah. about this game is cool. Yeah, it's just over the top and awesome. Yeah. Don't forget you can also fire up and down. It's 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 got a real in terms of the controls and sort of the style of it, it's kind of like ghouls and ghosts. Yeah, yeah. In That's a very what I'm loose thinking way, of. yeah. It's like the sequel almost. Yeah, it's like the futuristic version. I have to say that probably the best looking thing in this game is the fire. The fire is just wonderful. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. It's a really good looking game. And the later games actually somehow looked even better. And sounded even better. Fish. And played even better. Oh no, fell in the river. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah! Free <laughs> the man. Oops. Oh. <laughs> well, that was short lived. Hey, you can have the rocket launcher. It's all yours. And don't fall into the water this time. Because these guys are Spartans and they can't swim. <laughs> okay. It's nice not having an ammo limit. Well, you do have an ammo limit. Do I? Oh, right. <laughs> I thought I was just. That's why I'm it. letting you have all the ammo. I'm having the grenades, though. Get off the boat. We need to shoot it down. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Um, so this was on. I think we should talk a little bit about the hardware before we move on. Yeah, go on then. So this is on this uh, arcade system called the Neo Geo MVS. What's that? It stands for multi-video system. Um, and that was a very, very powerful and interesting system where you could swap out the games. So if, if you had a game running, let's say you have Metal Slug running, and then Metal Slug 2 comes out, you can get the Metal Slug 2 cartridge and just... Oh dear. I got eaten by a fish. Okay, so you can get the cartridge and then... You get the cartridge and you just swap it out. So it's kind of an evolution of... Every, like, games before this, they were on specialised hardware, so you couldn't really do a whole lot with them, unless you had another game that happened to be on that same hardware. Right, okay. Um, whereas with the Neo Geo, you could just swap the games out and have the same machine, um, just with different games. And they had all marquees and, and our cabinet <coughs> graphics with them. So it was a very cool system. Um, it was also extremely expensive. Now they did a home version called the AES, which was also extremely expensive to the extent that individual games could cost anywhere up to two hundred pounds. Whoa! Yeah, because this was such a big deal. Yeah, it was a massive deal, and despite it not being three D, this is probably the most powerful system of its time. And it you can tell it's not because 3D, of though, is it? Go on, what? Doesn't matter. That it's not three D. No, this is true, and. Um, you can see from the 2D performance, the amount of colours that we've got on screen and the resolution of the screen, you can tell that, that it's got some serious grunt behind it. Yes. Um, so, that's the hardware. Um, I didn't really understand that either. Okay. Well, that's fine. Because <laughs> I can't really hear you. <laughs> so, given that this is the most powerful system on the market at the time, shall we move on to our next version? Wait, I want to have a go in the tank. Okay, fine. Go on then. I'll take the gun, you can take the tank. See if you can not die this time. <laughs> this Please is what the game's all about, isn't it? This tank. Yeah. Oh god. Got I got burnt. Oh! There's an Independence Day guy there. Why did I get out? Uh, oh, I didn't. No, you didn't. That was me respawning. How do I shoot? Ah. Aha! <laughs> nope, you've died. <laughs> well done. Oh well. So, arcade version is cool. Arcade version is very cool. Let's see what other systems were around and what they were capable of in terms of actually running this game. I think you carried all of that. I don't think I did anything to help. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Even not doing anything I died. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Good job. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. What are you doing? I can't. Put it somewhere. Japanese writing. Japanese text. So, this is the PlayStation version of Metal Slug. The... Japan only. Okay. I think. Yeah, I'm fairly sure it was Japan only. 
Already we can see that it's taking forever to load. <laughs> so this is the disadvantage of CDs versus cartridges. Cartridges were like, yeah, straight in. CDs took forever. Well, it's interesting having seen the other things that have been released at this time. The fact that this has been released the way it is and it was so popular. Mm. But it is the 90s version of Ghouls vs. Ghosts, isn't it? Or that kind of game. Ghouls and Ghosts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One day you're going to get that name right. Because it is it is that same sort of thing. Yeah. It's just the war. Yeah, it's got just a different theme. version of it. Yeah, it's still as difficult. Yeah. Right, so... We've got some different options here that we can choose, which was pretty standard, really. Tekken 2 had the same sort of thing, I believe. Okay. Um, but we'll just play the arcade mission because that's all we're interested in. At least I'd like to. Yes. Oh, yeah, because I forgot that Circle is to continue on this, on the Japanese. Of course. So, same right. mission. So, I think if you... Yeah. So, same level. Already, I've noticed that the animation's... Slower. Eh. Yeah, the animations are already disappointingly bad. Although, the backgrounds are still as good. Yeah. Um, it's just, these animations are terrible. They do not do the arcade game justice. They're, so, they're, they're missing like more than half the frames. Hang on. I can't jump. Five. Right. <laughs> Music's the same. You would expect that from a CD system. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the uh, the animations, really, that are different. Other than that, it's effectively the same thing. Oh, Ooh, what have I got? You've got the flame shot, or the flamethrower, as we call it in this in this Western-speaking world. I got a fish. Yeah, the audio is also slightly different. I'm dead. Yes, you're dead. It still looks good though, which I think is the main point of this. It's supposed to yeah. be an attractive-looking game. Well. Uh, it's good that it's not only an attractive looking game, but it also plays incredibly well. <laughs> it has to load. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Now, something that we should mention about the PlayStation is that Sony weren't really happy about people using it for 2D games, which is perhaps why the 2D performance isn't all that. It's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not as good as certain other systems, like yes, one okay. where perhaps going to look at in a little bit. Um, oh. The Neo... I'm going to go in the tank this time. You've been hogging it. It's mine. I'm going to show you how to do it and not get killed instantly. <laughs> um, so yeah, they weren't really happy about people making 2D games. They wanted the 3D to be pushed. Yeah. Because it was new, it was exciting. And it was press plus, sell. press plus, press plus. No, not that plus, the other plus. Oh. Ah! You said press plus! <laughs> Absolute thick forest on Villanivu mount system. So, in this version, we've actually got the. Uh, all the blood. Oh, God's sake. Whereas in the arcade version, it's disabled by default and you have to go in and enable it manually. Yeah. Kind of annoying, but. Um, so, I think. It's not so evident in this game, but in the later games, they've got a real sort of body horror thing going on, which I find a bit strange. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, I'll, there's a lot of there's a lot of bizarre deaths, put it that way. Um, and well, I can't really explain them without you seeing them, I suppose. But yeah, it gets it gets a bit bizarre. But they they kind of play fast and loose with the gore later okay. on. Um, it's kind of a feature of the series to be quite ridiculous in terms of its violence. Well, is it dead? I think it dead. Yes, yes it dead. There's also quite a lot of humour in the game. I don't know if we'll. Yeah. Well, you see some, the there's some silly little moments. Yeah, there, like the, skipping around and. Yeah, and the the pulling of the pants. The tank's quite kind of funny. The tank is just so expressive. It's beautiful. So that was the PlayStation version. That was, again, exactly the same. Yeah. It For was all just, intents and purposes, it was yeah. precisely the same as the arcade version. Just with some dodgier animations. Now let's see what our next version's like. Okay. I'm that means take these guys out. Okay. They've not even noticed. <laughs> <laughs> So we're back on the Sega Saturn. Ooh. 
Now, unlike the PlayStation, which was known for its 3D performance, the yeah. Sega Saturn's known more for its 2D performance. Okay. Um, we can uh, see we've got a slightly different loading screen, which is interesting. But I suspect this version will be a little bit smoother in terms of its animations. Okay. But we shall see. So, but again, looking at it, it's the same. It's, yeah, pretty damn similar. So, yep. Which okay, I believe is something I was saying in the last episode that these things are getting more and more the same as we go on. Yeah. Through history. Right. Same, same plus, do. Plus, plus. No. No. Oh well. God damn it. Okay. We can just watch you play, Sam. Okay, Unless I, 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 I. Go on. Yes. Right. So we're having to solo it this time because somebody forgot to bring a controller. Nope. Not my fault. Yeah, yeah, sure. So again, we're on the same mission. We're looking same at... Same mission. Uh, same backgrounds. Essentially the same game. Why is there a pig? Animation's a little bit better, but still not to the level of the uh, arcade version. Not quite. There's certain things missing, like see, certain frames. I haven't noticed. Well, I'm a stickler for such things. Ooh. But it's, it's, it's still remarkably close, though. Oh, yeah. And it's a lot closer than anything... The ZX Spectrum was doing. Still fun. Oh yeah, it's still a lot of fun. And I'd be I'd be more than happy with this version if I brought it home. I think again this was Japan only, but I'm not certain. I'm doing much better. Yeah. Probably because you've not got not worrying about two people. It's because you're not taking all the kills. Yeah, oh, shut up. I had to carry Ooh. it. <laughs> he you're says distracting me. Sure. Oh, I got an envelope. You got a love letter. No loading as well. It just is seamless throughout. <laughs> oh. Which is great. Hit the yellow barrels. Bang. There you oh, go. right. I get it. <laughs> and don't stand right next. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Certain with explosions you can apparently attack. Yeah! Oh, that was a yeah. bit more gore than. Yeah, you saw that death animation. That, that was kind of what I was on about. The music sounds a little bit different as well. I'm not sure if, yeah, it's just, it does... if I've just not noticed, but it's got different instruments. Slightly. Maybe it's just a longer track. Again, I think this was on a CD-ROM, so uh, you had all the advantages of a CD-ROM. But this one's not got anywhere near the load times as the other one had. And again, this is going to be a lot quicker than it would have been on the actual system because we're emulating. Yes. Might as well. <laughs> Might as well point that out. Stop getting hit by the bombs. Well, I can't this help is it. something that you're very good at getting hit by things I can't. or running into things. This has got. Get out! Get out! This has got um, Robotron problems, isn't it? You can't. You have to go in the direction you're shooting again. Yeah. Well, how else would they have done it, to be fair? I don't know. So. <laughs> nuts to you. I've managed to not get hit by that thing. Did this thing not have uh, joysticks? No. This is the controller you would have used for the Sega Saturn. <laughs> what the hell is that? Well, it's actually pretty good. Apart from the D-pad there, which looks a bit mushy. Yeah. You've got the six buttons, so it's perfect for fighting games. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Your favourite thing. No shoulder buttons, though. X, Y, Z. Yeah. What are those two grey things, then? Oh, I don't know. They might be shoulder buttons. I'm not certain. So now, the expert. Well, no, but this wasn't the only controller for the Sega Saturn, because right. you could have one with a sort of pseudo joystick as well. Ooh, I like joysticks. <laughs> oh, there we go. Wow. It is the fat controller. <laughs> that looks like that bionicle dude. <laughs> it's just like... That is not comfortable at no, all. You just look at that and think, oh, it's pretty sleek. Yeah. And then that. <laughs> You've got to... Hello. <laughs> Do like this if you want to use the joystick. <laughs> Imagine this using the buttons there, you can't reach them with your thumb. Looks like a Batman CD player. <laughs> oh, that dude. Yeah, save him. Did <laughs> he just fly Go down. on then, go and save him then. It won't be saved unless you actually interact with him and get him to pull his knickers out. So, yeah, it's basically the same. There's really not a whole lot more to add. Yes, it's the same game. Same game, Ooh. slightly different hardware, oh no. but this one is a lot better at doing it than the PlayStation was. Yes. So, uh, that was Metal Slug. Oh, they're the only versions? They're the only versions, again. This is... Oops. 
You've managed to pause the game, well done. Uh, uh, I can't get up because of these blue things. <laughs> May I? No. Okay, fine. Um. Get up, get the... Uh, oh no! Oh! How am I supposed to get up there? You wait until it's not firing. It's never not firing. <laughs> Why do you want to get up there? Because it's got the... Oh, well, the you've just lost launcher. it. This is such a... I've never really thought about this... What what the hell this thing is. It's what is it? Big gun. It's a ship with a platform and a gun on the side. It's one of those gunship things or maybe a But why is it on land? It's crashed. But why are you shooting it? Because it's shooting me! <laughs> Mission complete. Well, that was a ton of fun. I really like that. Excellent. Well, we should play there later games in the series in the future episode. Yes. But for now, let's do uh, some ratings. So how would you rate the arcade version? Nine. Nine. Totally Maybe agree. nine and a half. Nine and a half? Maybe. Oh. It was a ton of fun. Yeah, it's a ton of fun. Um, I'm, I don't know if it's... That, that's the thing, you see. Is it? Is it better? Than ghouls and ghosts, I don't it think faster. it is. It wasn't better, but it was certainly faster. You can see, you can definitely see the uh, where improvements it's in the tech. Yeah. Um, I don't think it was better. That... It was just that you, you uh, have a gun. Yeah. Which is always easier than a sword. <laughs> or a lance, or a frisbee. Yeah. And the enemies weren't creeping around. They were, you know. Yeah, they were there. It's a bit more visceral, isn't it? it? It's not. Impossible, but it was not. It's challenging, but easy at the same time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas with ghouls versus ghosts, it was a bit difficult. Well, the thing with ghouls and ghosts is that it was made specifically to be very hard. Yes. Whereas this, not so much. This is fun. This is just a game. Yeah. They're, they're sneaking around, look. Not really. <laughs> not like them creepy skeleton dudes were. Yeah. Well, like, it's thematically different, isn't it? So yes. you wouldn't really have people sneaking around in a war. In a Vietnam... It'd be basically a Vietnam war, isn't it? So yeah, I'm going to stick with my nine. Nine? The, okay, the I can version. agree with you on that. PlayStation version? Oh, God! Get up, quick! Well, I thought it was exactly the same. So you're going for the same score? Yep. I'm going to go... I'm going to go an eight, just because then animations put me off. And the loading times are annoying as okay, well. Okay, yeah, the loading times are annoying me, so I'm going to go an eight as well. Eight. And the Saturn version... Nine. Yeah, exactly <laughs> the same. Okay, so that's probably our highest rated game thus far, in yeah. terms of, across all the versions. Interesting. Fantastic. I, I'm impressed because I didn't think you'd think much of that game, but Why? you actually really enjoyed it. I don't know, I just didn't think you'd... It's uh... a breath of fresh air after all fighting games we've had. Like <laughs> well, I said, it, was, it's it's a... it's like, feels like a game from the good old days, yeah. but with the modern technology, which is always good for me. Oh dear, I just got macheted. It's funny, it's self aware. Yeah. It's not like Gauntlet was took itself far too seriously. Oh yeah, it de definitely did. Whereas this one, you can tell they're making something that is old fashioned yeah, and well, funny. Yeah, well, I have to say colourful. it looks like it was fun to make. Yeah. And you can always tell, can't you? Yeah, yeah Something yeah. that was fun to make is going to be fun to play. I mean, it might, even if it's a bad game, it's still going to be fun to play if it was fun to make. Yeah. So, I'm pretty sure that just about wraps us up for Metal Slug. Yep. The silly game with the silly name. So... Although the tank wasn't any much. No, this is true. But where it is, um, it really steals the show. Yes, okay. So that's... Good night from him. And good night from me. And we'll see you all for the next one. Goodbye. Sayonara. Sayonara.